there was a young man in the Bible, and I think you might be able to guess who he is. So put on your thinking cap and listen as I tell you some of the things about him. Because this week, we're going to focus on this man and his life and see some lessons that we can learn from him and apply to our life even today. Well, this young man, when we're introduced to him, he's 17 years old. So he's a teenager. He has a lot of older brothers, but his dad loves him very much. And his dad taught him at home, much like you are right now going to school at home. So because his dad taught him at home, he and his dad were very close. And his dad loved him more than he loved his other brothers. And that wasn't good because that wasn't right or fair. And that caused his older brothers to be jealous of him. And they didn't like him because they wanted to be loved by their father like he was. So one day, to surprise him, <clears throat> his dad had made him a coat, a very special coat. The Bible tells us it was a coat of many colors. It was very valuable um, because back then, colored fabrics were hard to come by. And so often co coats and clothing were just natural colors, browns and tans and light greens, <laughs> maybe a little blue, but, but when you started to get colorful, it was very expensive because you had to have dyed fabric and that wasn't an easy thing to come by. So it was a special coat made by his father out of expensive fabrics just for him. Do you think this made his brothers happy? No, it made him even more jealous. Well, Joseph was a man a young man who loved God because his father loved God and taught him about God. Even though his father made some mistakes because we make mistakes and we still love God. Well, Joseph one night had a dream. It was a very interesting dream. And he, the next morning, thought about it. And he said, hey, guys, I had this crazy dream. We were out in the field gathering wheat. And when they would go out in the field and gather wheat, they would put it in bundles and tie it up. So you'd have a bunch of wheat. He said, we were out gathering wheat and putting it into sheaves and those bundles were called sheaves. And he said, all of a sudden, my sheaves stood up straight and tall and all of yours bowed down to it. Well, this made his brothers very angry and even more jealous because he was a younger brother. How many of you have younger brothers or sisters? or younger cousins. Do you like them telling you what to do? They said, what? Are we gonna bow down to you? You're gonna rule over us? Who do you think you are? Well, he, he was just trying to share his dream. He really wasn't trying to be arrogant. He was just saying, hey, I had this dream. Well, then he had another dream. And this time it was in the sky and his star was in the middle surrounded by his brother's stars and there was a sun and a moon that represented his mother and father and in the dream they all bowed down to his star and even his father was a little taken back by this one when he told them about it he said what are you gonna rule over all of us are we all gonna bow down to you what is this all about well <sighs> the brothers were upset his dad was thoughtful and he was just trying to figure out what was going on. Well, his brothers were sent with the flocks because they took care of all his dad's sheeps and goats. Sheep and goats, not sheeps, sheep, sheep and goats. Uh, and his father sent him to go check on them because they often did wrong and got in trouble. So this young man took some supplies put on his special coat and went to go find his brothers. And when he went to where they were, guess what? They weren't there. They had gone somewhere else. Do you know who this is yet? Who do you think? You're exactly right. This is the beginning of the story of Joseph. Come back tomorrow and we'll find out what happens when he actually 
finds his brothers.